Welcome to Drinks Undressed. This week I'm going to show you how to make one of the kings of the tiki world, the Mai Tai. I'm going to start off by teaching you how to make um, orgeat syrup, which is essentially almond syrup. I'm going to show you the really easy, quick way to make it at home using almond milk. Before almond milk came became so readily available, you used to have to soak and crush and blend and strain your almonds in order to get the, this milk, but they've already done it for you. So. Thank God for almond milk. I'm gonna start off, we're gonna put a cup and a half of the almond milk into a saucepan. So, eyeball it there. And then we're gonna sugar that down as well. We're gonna go. So we go one more cup, just so we get a nice, thick, satisfying syrup. We wanna heat this up gently, a little bit. We did another week. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Got me. All right, go steady with the with the uh, with the stove. Just try not to lose any fingers. Or uh, burnt hair infusions never never too popular. Uh, usually in my bar, what I do is I would add um, orange blossom water into the orgeat syrup. But in the absence of that, we're going to use uh, a little bit of orange zest. Just squeezing the juices in there. So we're going to go with about half an orange worth of zest. And then we're also gonna add, just to kind of boost up those flavors, you want this to be a nice, strong almond tasting syrup. So what I've got here is I've got a uh, pure almond extract as well. So we're gonna throw in about a teaspoon, flat teaspoon. Don't wanna go too crazy, this stuff's really, really, really strong in flavor, but that is what we're going for. But if you overdo it, it's really gonna be uh, not good. <laughs> not good in the mouth. So again, don't boil the hell out of it. You just want to be uh, dissolving the sugar in, you know, and also warming up that, those orange zests as well. So all the sugar is lovely and dissolved in there. It smells wonderful. It really smells like fresh um, amaretti biscuits, which is exactly what you want. The orange is really enhancing that flavor as well there. We're gonna be using the, uh, that little um, mason jar or kilner jar shaker that we made the other week, if you guys remember. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we've got the regular lid for shaking, and then we've got the lid with holes punched in for straining. Two tablespoons of our fresh orgeat syrup. Normally, the way that I'd make this drink at my bar, I'd be using three types of rum. I'd use the white rum, a gold rum, and a dark rum. A little blend of everything just to get a full spectrum of rum. This drink's really a kind of like celebration of good rum. Um, <clears throat> and then I'd use uh, a triple sec. In the absence of triple sec again, you know what, we're just gonna boost up those flavors even more by putting in a couple of little zests again, just for shaking. If you're gonna use one rum, I mean, you can make this with any type of rum that you've got. You could even try it with a spiced rum if you felt, felt that way inclined. But I'd say if you're only gonna have one rum instead of all three or, or four different types, you wanna go with a gold rum, something in the middle, something that's gonna accept flavor um, but it's also gonna add flavor as well. You're gonna have nice oaky vanilla notes in there as well. So we're gonna do another little home pour, somewhere around two ounces. If this drink's made properly, it should be quite a strong drink. So you wanna go steady, especially if you're out in the sunshine all day, make sure you drink plenty of water, yeah? And then we're gonna pop some lime juice in there as well. You know, it was a strong drink. People, people tend to make them nowadays with like pineapple juice, which is fine. You can add, throw in some pineapple juice if you want. Um, what you're gonna find, that's just gonna make the drink a little bit fluffier, a little bit easier drinking. You can knock them back a bit faster that way. So if that's, uh, if that's the style of drink that, you're, that you like, by all means add some good fresh pineapple juice. And then just fill our shaker up with ice. Leave a little bit of room for maneuver. And then we'll screw on our lid. There we go. Give that a good shake. All right, there we go, look at that. Look at that, I feel like I'm on holiday already. Oh, beautiful, can't wait to tuck into one of these. All right, and then we're gonna serve this short in a nice little, little whiskey tumbler. Oh, the smell, you can really smell the quality of that orgeat. The orange is coming through, the lovely burnt toffee notes from the rum. This is a real, real good, drink that you just want to, when the, when the weather's like this, you've got your wife beater on, and then classic little uh, little cheeky garnish there, nice little mint sprig, and you know what, let's put some orange on too, you can just pop that in the side there I reckon, 
and here we have it. The king of tiki drinks, made with your homemade orgeat, which is a really versatile syrup. You can use it in many, many things. And that, my friend, would be probably my favorite drink to drink on a sunny day with my cool friends round. Get the girls in the grass skirts, coconut bras, you know where it's going. All right, have fun, happy mixing. Rocket and I will see you next week, same time, Thursdays.